Good day and welcome to another episode of Medicast TV Weekly Commentary. This week I have a special treat for you. You know, I'm always chatting with you about what you should be doing to get out into your community and educate the public about what you do and how you do it. Well, I thought I'd bring you a look at what goes on in my own neck of the woods as we bring you a very special hands-only CPR class that was put on recently in a local supermarket parking lot. So let's head over and take a look at some of the footage from that. And we will be interviewing uh, Chief of Operations, uh, Assistant Chief of Operations for the county, as well as looking at some folks practicing their CPR. So take a look. I'm here with Mike Deckard, Assistant Chief for Operations at Cecil County Department of Emergency Services, my own backyard. And Mike, we've known each other a long time and you're kicking off a pretty exciting program for bystander CPR in Rising Sun that's gonna be kicking off for the whole county. That's correct, Jamie. We, today is the start of our program to increase the survival rate for sudden cardiac arrest in Cecil County, Maryland. This is a four-step process, early recognition, early CPR, early defibrillation, and then the advanced ALS. So today what we're doing here is starting with bystander CPR. We're teaching, we've con collaborated with the Community Fire Company of Rising Sun to have a public outreach event in which we're going to take five to ten minutes out of the citizens day and teach them hands-only CPR. And we had a save recently uh, from a lightning strike that uh, happened uh, because CPR was started immediately on the scene. That's correct. Back in June, there was a young lady that was at a, a zoo and she was struck by lightning. Our paramedics, as well as the paramedics and firefighters from the Community Fire Company of Rising Sun arrived. When they arrived, bystander CPR was already initiated. And as of today, the young lady is a functioning member of this, the community and has already returned to work at the zoo. And that's really the key, is getting out in your community. I mean, this program is for paramedics, firefighters, uh, responders. And uh, why is it important for them to get out in the community like this and do these kinds of outreach efforts? Multiple reasons. One, so that we're seen so that we can explain our purpose to the folks. So when folks call 911, they've already had interaction with the first responder. So it's not, while it's their emergency, it's not a shock to them to see the people that come, as well as giving them the education that they need to maintain a healthy lifestyle of their own. So should they have an issue with sudden cardiac arrest, they know what to do, they don't have to wait. So when they're calling 911, the dispatcher's trying to give them the, the instructions. Someone's already doing CPR, so they know as well as fire prevention. It, it's a myriad of things, but by bringing the, the program to the people and not the people to the program. We're, we're here at the Martin's Grocery Store on a Saturday morning when all the parents are shopping for their week's groceries, but as well as school supplies and stuff like that. If they come and visit us today and learn hands-only CPR, we're providing them with a package of school supplies for their children. Excellent. Well, Mike, I want to thank you for doing this in the community, in my community, and, and for doing some things that are showing the rest of the responders out there what they can be doing in their community. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Jamie. You know, there's no reason you can't do something similar like this in your community. It is important to get the tools, get the resources together, but you can find those resources, whether it's from your local health department or maybe local businesses will fund an initiative like this and move it around the area to different jurisdictions and different vicinities, uh, different storefronts. Whatever the case may be, get out there teach hands-only CPR, teach people what we do and how we respond, show them how they can save a life, and you might make a difference in your community. That's it for this week's MedicCast TV Weekly Commentary. I'm Jamie Davis, the Pod Medic. I'll be back soon with more of these segments, and of course, every Monday with our full MedicCast episode available for you to kick off your EMS week. You'll find all of that over at MedicCast.tv. I'm Jamie Davis, the Pod Medic. I'll be back soon, but in the meantime, remember, as always, scene safety, BSI. <laughs>